Leo to your May love reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Yes, messages, please. We have the page of swords coming out, so this is somebody watching you or you watching someone. Also, looking for the news and the information, spreading a lot of curiosity. I do feel like you do have someone who could be a Libra or a Gemini who is watching you closely at hand. does not have to be an air sign, of course, but for some of you, it definitely is. Um, but it's definitely, they're very curious to know what is going on with you. Mm, got a crush going on is what it looks like. Secret admirer, perhaps. It could also be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Uh, this is a beautiful Taurus card coming out, but this person is a business person, a wealthy person, a person who is disciplined within their money, within their finances. You could have someone, you know, who's watching you at work um, or someone who works around you, okay? Um, but whatever it is, this person is built on success and with a successful mind, right? So this is not a person that you know, is not just some lazy person. This is a very successful in control of their security. Okay, but they definitely have their their eyes on you, really watching you, looking at a commitment, wanting to build something with you. Um, it just feels like they might be trying to, you know, um, bring up the nerve to say something. I don't know why I want to say that. Uh, it just feels like they're really, yeah, because they're planning. They're planning the moment to move in. For some of you, you could say that this has already happened and they're, you know, um, already brought the news towards you, but they do want this contract. Now, this is a, a card also of contracts, which is crazy because you also have the Hierophant, which is also a card of contracts. This could be a, uh, excuse me, this definitely could be a Taurus coming towards you guys. Okay, so we, now we have two Taurus cards going on. So let's see, but definitely wanting to build something with you. They want to have some kind of um, investment with you. They're looking to see, you know what, what can I do with you? Longing to put some kind of um, moves on the situation, planning on moving towards you, or maybe if you're already in a committed relationship, maybe they are thinking about how they want to spice things up and move into a higher commitment, right? So we can also bring that in. For a lot of you, though, it looks like they are definitely watching you and getting ready to say something to you. Okay, cannot, you know, definitely moving fast. So this isn't something that's going to, you know, be um, taking forever. They're moving fast. They're thinking fast about this situation. They don't want to miss this opportunity. Okay, so definitely feel like this is definitely a... Um, I spy on you, secret crush, guys, okay? Um, for those of you who know that you're already in a relationship, then they just want to move faster, bringing this relationship into a more spicier, fun, and encouraging relationship, something that they want to build on, okay? But they're overcoming some obstacles within the situation. I feel like the obstacles of the situation is this, just them thinking about how I'm going to, how am I going to make this move? Thinking about the big, bigger picture over here. Um, getting really creative about the situation with the King of Wands is also a card of creativity because it's fire, right? So they're getting creative, you know, uh, about how they're going to move towards you and ask you out on this date or take this to the next level. Um, definitely have the ooh, Nine of Pentacles. They see you as the Nine of Pentacles. They see you as comforting reward. They see you as luxurious. They see you as full of con contentment. And something that they can build on. You are definitely their person in their eyes, right? This is the type of person that makes me satisfied. I have the intentions to move forward with this situation. So, ooh, I like this. I like where this is going. This is, you know, one of those things where it's like, hey, maybe I've been in some turbulent relationships before, but I definitely am ready to open up and have a new relationship or make this relationship grow stronger. Coming out with the Four of Pentacles over here, definitely, you know, feeling like there's some kind of control situation, controlling the urge to um, just, 
I think it's kind of crazy because it just feels like they're kind of controlling the urge to say something stupid. I don't know why I want to say that, but it, maybe they feel like they're always falling over their tongue when they're around you, putting their foot in their mouth or when they're around you, and now they're taking better control. Um, if you don't know who this is and they're coming towards you or you have, you know what I'm saying, and they haven't really said anything to you, then they're being very conservative about what it is I'm going to say and how I'm going to do this. Remember, this is a person who is the king of pinnacles and the king of wands. Okay, so they're, you know, so you could literally say that maybe they're Taurus Sagittarius, but I know how to, I know how to keep that control. These are two strong kings that want to be in control that needs to know how to, you know, um, see the bigger picture, be the natural leader, but do it very comforting, right? But they don't want to feel like they're going in as just, you know, some kind of doofus. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to put my foot in my mouth, so I'm really trying to think of how I'm going to say this without, you know, either turning you off, um, right, or saying something stupid, literally, okay? That's exactly what it is, right? Yeah, so they don't want to have any disorganized um, ways of doing anything. So they're really organized on how they're going to say this. They, it's almost like to the point where it's like, I don't know if you guys have ever been on a date. I've watched my friends do it. It's like they talk in the mirror. They're like, hi, how are you, right? So I do feel like this person is, you know, they've got the jittery bugs, right? When it comes to you, um, they see you as this beautiful, like I said, nine of pentacles. So definitely there is some feelings that are stirred and they're getting anxious. There's some anxiety. Let's put it that way, right? I'm getting nervous, getting anxiety, um, but they're definitely coming towards you and they're inspired to want to bring this news. They're feeling the excitement. It's like they're pumping themselves up. I feel it. They're pumping themselves up to get rid of all those nerves, right? Because I really want to date you. I really want to take this to the next level, however it is, right? Um, yeah, but they do see the victory. They want that reward. There's a lot of messages coming in. They're definitely coming to talk. I mean, we have news here. Uh, Knight of Swords is news. Page of Wands is news. Um, you know, receiving good news. Six of Wands. So you definitely might even be very excited yourself, See how the majority of you feel. If you know that you don't feel that way, throw it away, right? We're just picking up the overall energy. Ooh, it is a secret. I think you have a secret crush on this person as well. Secrets, secrets, I have in secrets. They're going to give you a little bit of anxiety. I think you both have a secret crush on each other. There's this sudden awareness of where you're going to choose your happiness and that you do see them deep within your cup over here. So definitely some emotional, yeah, anxiety going on over here when it comes to this emperor. Okay, that's fine. Put him as an emperor, whether it's male or female. It doesn't matter because they came up as two kings anyway. So, shoot, you know. So, as you see this emperor over here, it's definitely giving you anxiety and mixed emotions about the situation. The mixed emotions is more of this, you know, the emotional anxiety um, of how things are going on. But there is a lot of comfort. Man, I see a lot of comfort in this reading. Comforting each other. It's a beautiful reading. You, I mean, you might even feel like they're kind of focusing on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As this is transitioning. This is going to transition into the strength that they have. Okay, and yeah. Yeah. And a lot of compassion over here. So... Definitely a lot of wishful thinking and manifestation. So whether you're manifesting or they're manifesting, I think you guys are both doing it. There's a lot of wishful thinking, manifest, manifesting going on to where you two can have this conversation, have this talk, waiting for this person to come through. And here they come. A little bit ambition on both of your sides over here. Beautiful reading. Let's see. Grabbing a love, some love cards over here. Well, that one just flew at me. Life purpose. Look at that. Having the life purpose card coming out for dating. So this does feel like this is not just a contract, but a spiritual contract. Okay, that makes sense. Making a contract, wanting the commitment, and then saying this is a spiritual contract. So definitely a soulmate connection, whether it's karmic or, you know, or whether it's a good karmic or a bad karmic. Let's just put it that way, right? Um, but it does feel definitely like this is a soul contract. You have the abundance over here. You guys are meant to meet each other, be with each other for you know, whether it's long-term or just for this time to learn something, however it is, okay? But definitely saying the sacred woman, 
So definitely seeing you as a sacred person. Yep, there it is, soulmate. I knew it. But, you know, you have to remember, guys, the majority of most of the people we do interact with are soulmates, are people that we do know from past that we have already made contracts with, and mostly to learn things, grow from, right? So to actually get the soulmate card, you know, it's not always like, ooh, it's so like, oh, my God, because you probably notice, like, in a lot of readings, even if you watch other people, you run into a lot of soulmates. It's, it's actually built that way. It's just whether or not is it, you know, a heavy karmic or is it, you know, no matter what, you're going to learn things from past lives, no matter what, right? It's just uh, how is it fitting together and what are we learning from the situation? Okay, it's if, if we do run into somebody that we've our soul doesn't really know, it makes the relationship a little rougher, right? Sometimes it makes it a little rougher and you start building karma on that, <laughs> right? Um, but usually if, you know, with soulmate, uh, with non-soulmates, they usually don't last very long, right? You could think of that like, I just think you're pretty, you know, kind of think of like high school dating, right? Uh, junior high dating, right? So kind of like, and I went out with Jeff on this date, and we're broke up four days later, right? Because it's just the learning experience of how to date, the learning experience of how to be compassionate, the learning experience of how to actually get out there and actually find that real soulmate, right? Like I said, whether it's karmic or not, so we can build this love, build this relationship until we can find something, right? That's really good uh, for the soul and for you in itself, right? So always want to keep that in mind. We have so many soulmates. You'd be surprised how many people in your life are actually, you know, are people that you, they're usually the people that stay around for long times or stay in your mind, however, or learn the hardest lessons with. You know those are your karmics, right? So always want to forgive so you don't have to come back and do that again with Henry, right? It's like, and I didn't like him. He was mean. He was, you know, nasty. You know what I'm saying? So you always want to forgive. You don't want to do that again. I mean, not saying that he's going to come back as the same exact person, but just the thought in my mind, right? And the thought in my mind is like, dang, what if he is the same again because he didn't learn anything, right? So give your relationship a chance and stay optimistic about your love life. Ooh, I like that. So positive thinking and faith will always bring in you romance, always vibing up those higher vibrations. But this seems like a very good higher vibrational reading. I like that. It doesn't look like you guys are vibing at really low vibrations. So I like that. It feels very connected on a higher level um, than those lower level vibration, vibrational uh, love readings. So good job, guys. Till next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.